this cannon was given to the museum uh, in 1908. And since that time, it's been basically mounted on a piece of a block of wood. And it's never had its rightful home. And so we feel like this new cannon carriage really engenders the power and the lethal nature of what this cannon really could have done in the Battle of New Orleans. And it's one of our most important artifacts for the upcoming exhibition for the Battle of New Orleans. The Battle of New Orleans was celebrated like the 4th of July up until the Civil War. And then for some reason, after the Civil War, we sort of forgot this momentous occasion in our country's history. So through this exhibition, we hope to uh, remind the country that if we had lost this battle, we would not be the United States of America. We might even have a British accent. So the most interesting things about this cannon is that uh, it was probably one of the largest weapons used in the battle that we, we have documented or know about. We, we went down to Chalmette Battlefield and took plenty of measurements and, and all, and uh, that's what we came up with and uh, duplicated an exact carriage from the Battle of New Orleans so that we could set our new ca uh, cannon from the old onto the new carriage. So we wanted, to, we wanted to, to bring the cannon to life for the museum and we put it on this new carriage so that everybody can see how it actually was when it was in battle. And uh, like I say, we had it on a small carriage. And actually, when we uh, when we were building the carriage, we actually looked inside of it to, to put a new uh, end in, the, in it so nobody could put anything in it. And I actually found a cannonball inside of the cannon. It actually is in two pieces. That's called a ball shot. It had two pieces with a square piece in the middle. So as it was shot, it would tumble to hit the mast on the ships and the ropes on the ships.